Happy Thursday, Melissa Divas and Dudes. Okay, so today's buzz is brought to you by Winking Owl California Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a Aldi brand right now. This is like my favorite wine from Aldi. It's like 200, not 200, but $2.96. 200. But anyway, I wanted to talk about something. You know, uh, I follow a lot of relationship gurus on YouTube, on Facebook, and you know, and uh, there's a lot of, you know, uh, talk about how, you know, women were not submissive and the, you know, the, the, the reason why we're single and we don't have men is because, you know, we're, we're not submissive. We don't cater to our men and all this blah, 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 blah. Okay. You know, in my eyes, I feel like I'm submissive to those who deserve it. You know, everybody's not deserving of all that submissive shit. You know, you got to earn that. You know, that ain't something you want to give to everybody. Okay. Okay. That's like a blowjob. You don't give that to everybody. You don't give your submission to everybody. Just like you don't suck everybody dick and you don't drink everybody cum. You get, you got select motherfuckers for that. Okay. But anyway, I wish there were more gurus out there that talked about being happy being single, being happy having your freedom, being happy to be able to meet a guy on, on Monday and meet another guy on Wednesday and fuck somebody on Friday and like have no remorse for it, man. You're just fucking enjoying your life. You're fucking enjoying your life. You know, there's this whole notion that if you're not married, uh, with, you know, three kids by 30, it's like everything is going to fall to hell for you. That, there's like this fucking belief they want us to rush to the altar. It's like a fucking rush. What's the fucking rush? There's no fucking rush. Bitch, just because you not married by 30 don't mean you ain't going to get married. Bitch, you can get married at 50. You can get married at 40. You can get married at 60. Bitch, which are all great ages because, you know, you're pretty settled. <clears throat> you really have, you know, your shit figured out, hopefully. You know what I'm saying? You got some money in the bank so you can, you know, your kids are probably grown if you have any children. And you can just spend the rest of your fucking relationship with your new dude at 40, 50, and 60 just exploring each other without having the, 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 the fucking difficulties of having to raise kids and shit. The kid, kid game is over. Fucking kid game is over. Your kids are fucking grown. Some of them might even have kids of their own, bitch. You a grandmama now. And you can get married. You done saved up your money. You and your, your boo thing gonna go and, and, and rent a yacht and have your closest friends and your closest relatives on this yacht to see y'all exchange uh, 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 vows, bitch. And you in your 50s, bitch. What, what, what's wrong with that? Bitch, you feeding your patrons escargot and caviar and living like a motherfucking king and queen because you can afford to do that shit. You know, you ain't, you know, in the church of God in Christ's basement, you know, that you pay $200 for because, you know, you ain't really got no money, but you want to get married like right away. Bitch, hold off. Ain't no rush. You know, ain't no rush. It, it, you know, it reminded me, you know, especially when I hear, you know, a lot of the YouTubers talk about, here, let me with my palette. That's delicious. When you have, you know, YouTubers talk about how our grandmothers were, and, you know, Big Mama was this way, and, you know, Nana was this way, and blah, blah, blah. She was the patron of the family, and that's why the family is, you know, the way that it is now, and, you know, she did everything for the family, and, you know, she's the matriarch. Women today aren't like that. They're not like that. You know, women today is, they selfish and shit like that. But I remember I had went to a funeral of... Uh, uh, a, a woman who we were family friends with her husband had passed away right and so you know we went to the funeral and we we're paying our respects you know they had been married for like maybe 50 plus years and you know we were paying our respect and you know oh you know you know you all had such a great relationship and he's in heaven now you know with God and blah 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 you know all that you know supportive things that you said and she said something very profound she says I'm gonna miss my husband but now I can finally work on me. You know, she was just, and she kind of went in, into detail about that. She says, you know, when you devote your whole life to your family, to your kids, 
and your fucking husband, you lose who you fucking are. You really do. Shit that you wanted to do in the past, you can't fucking do no more. You know what I'm saying? Unless you, you know, unless by chance, you know, something changed in, you know, your, your financial you know, your financial situation, some change and you, you and your husband and your family can go here and then you're in there. But, you know, if you don't have the likelihood of being able to travel, you know, you're just going to be like really stuck in a, a, this relationship, you know, just, I don't know, I feel like stuck and, uh, you know, I don't, girl, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I done got all fucked up. But anyway, she was saying how, you know, now that her husband is gone, she can work on her. She can do the things that she's been wanting to do, you know, her whole life. You know, she wanted to travel, go on cruises. She says her husband didn't like to fucking fly. And she said she wasn't going to ask him to go on a boat because he probably wasn't going to do that either. So she said, you know, I didn't really get a chance to explore anything. You know, now she can. Now she can. Her kids are grown. She don't have a husband, you know, that, you know, she has to think about. You know, she right now she can focus on being her. And I remember there was a scene in the movie uh, uh, Bridges of Madison County where Meryl Streep, you know, had an affair with this photographer who used to uh, be a photographer for... Um, National Geographic, that's what it was about. But there was a scene where they were sitting in the kitchen and they, they were at the table and they were talking. And, you know, I'm just kind of paraphrasing, you know, he asked her, you know, is there anything you regret in life? And, you know, Meryl Streep just kind of, you know, said that, you know, she was really disappointed in how, well, not really disappointed, but she was kind of disappointed in how her life turned out you know she didn't expect to be a housewife you know that wasn't her plan she had other plans and it was kind of disappointing that that's what she ended up as you know what i'm saying and the whole premise of this affair that she had with this man was this man was somebody exciting he had traveled the world and you know had d photographed all these people from all over and he just seemed like he had this just wild and like you know f carefree life and she was attracted to that being a housewife Two kids, you know, cooking and cleaning and fucking and sucking all day, every day. You know, all day, every day. Cooking, cleaning, and fucking and sucking. Cooking, cleaning, and fucking and sucking all day. That's, and you know, and if you got to go to work, oh my God. Oh my God. But you know, I'm not trying to disparage anybody. I'm just trying to, you know, let people know that, you know, just because you are a certain age and you are single. That don't mean shit, bitch. You single now. That don't mean you're going to be single in the future, bitch. You're going to probably have your husband by 40, 45, 50, or 60. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't, you know, crazy, you know, you know or fucking scary, bitch, you're going to meet somebody. You know what I'm saying? You got to put yourself in, in situations to meet somebody. You know what I'm saying? Go out. Go to jazz clubs, supper clubs, wine clubs, bitch. Go to comedy clubs. You know? Meet up with some, you know, meet up with somebody. Hey, you know, put it out there on your little Facebook page. You know what I'm saying? If you belong to a little private group, you know, hey, meet me up in here at this comedy lounge. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, get to know people, bitch. You gotta open your mouth. Open your mouth. They out here, bitch. Okay, I'm a little tipsy. But anyway, I want you all to have a fantastic, fantastic Thursday. And I'll see you guys next video. I hope y'all don't see my titties in here. If y'all see my titties in here, I got to edit this motherfucker. But anyway, deuces.